So I'm going to be doing a video on this Soviet PNV 57E night vision. And unlike the normal PNV 57, this one actually does light amplification, so you don't need an IR illuminator on to use it. Um, there is an IR illuminator that I've just put on there, which is just a little torch that's clipped on, a cheap one off eBay. If I flick that there, the camera light will show you a bit of the IR, which you wouldn't see of your eye. Um, this was kindly sent to me for free by B-Store, so check out his eBay page below. Bart's going to be following me around filming of this. I've got the 12 volt battery I'm going to use for this inside an Avon escape hood bag, which I can hopefully put on my belt. We'll see if that works. And there's an air rifle there that in a minute we're not going to shoot it because it's dark outside and we don't want to disturb anybody. But what we're going to do is, um, I'm just using crocodile clips by the way to attach the battery unit in a moment. Attached to there, works perfectly fine. You can also use a 9 volt battery if you needed to. But um, what we're just going to do once we've filmed walking around with a night vision and doing some tests like that, just see if you can aim iron sights all right with the night vision scope. So there we go. See the green light? Follow me? Yep. Put the ground, you move them off. But yeah, I can actually see down here, it's just quite weird with uh, stuff really close up. But yeah, I can't see. I can't see a thing. <laughs> Uh, your side, I think. Oh, okay, I can't right. quite see it from here. Yeah, there we go. That was being done. There. There we go. Right, we have to look at the ground now because otherwise it's too bright. Yep, I can see fine. The darker shadow bits are harder to see. But I think this magnifies ever so slightly, but not massively. I did notice it seemed slightly magnified, but then. I don't know. Fish eyes a bit as well. Yeah, not really any more than my glasses, I guess. Yeah, that's really bright looking through there with all those lights. I don't know if you just want to show everybody what. Yeah, this is like. this is Liam's view, oh, I suppose. This is our view. Yeah, I can see really well. If I do that sort of stuff. Um, you know, I can see where all the ground is. I don't know if on the camera you can down if the ground is actually all that visible. Not from what I can tell. I mean, what's on screen is pretty, pretty accurate representation of what I can actually see in real life. Yeah, cool. right, I'm carry on Which uh, isn't a lot. I think I knocked the cable loose because I've just heard it stop whining. Yeah, which oh, one yeah, came off? The red one. There we go, I can actually attach that. There we go. Yeah, that's that working again. There's no actual adjustment at this end, is there? Really? It's just that the uh, eye end you adjust them. It's not you can't get that. Oh, oh, there we go. That's better. Oh, that's really better if I hold it like that. 
because it keeps them so close to my eyes that I get proper um, view. The field of view is weird though, because mm -hmm. it's like if I um, look at that, it's kind of um, you know like a fisheye thing. Or if I do that with my head, everything that's fairly close is close. But I suppose it's the distortion at the edge of the MV tubes, which is pretty common on all night vision. You just notice a bit on these, I guess, because it's by vision. Right, I'll just walk over there again, and then, um... Have a look at the sky a minute, we'll light the moon and that. Ooh, street light. That's the moon. Oh, jeez. In a sec, if you aim it towards the gate, we'll put the IR illuminator on. I'll just flick that for you, and we'll see what that looks like with it. Ah. I guess it... Oh, sorry, that's very bright. Oh, well, yeah, at short distances, it, it, it overexposes the camera. That's you right there. Could you flick it off again, and I'll just oh, have a look at you with the... Oh, sorry, I haven't got a hand free. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that's, that's really interesting. And obviously, uh, a lot brighter than what we could see. Oh, sorry, that wasn't. It's interesting, it didn't actually fade out that much in that time. Yeah, it's because the cathodes have to cool that down, so they don't. Shopping You're worth looking at the shadows near the garage, which are obviously that one. Is that the moon? It's yeah. The bright bit there, yeah. Yeah, that's really sharp. Okay. Yeah, yep. All good. Did, did you know when the camera's recording there's actually a little IR light that keeps flashing on it? No, I didn't know. Huh. I'll show you in a sec when we've got this. Maybe that's for the autofocus or something, I don't know. Yeah. Right, cool. Um, you know, what amazes me of this is, let's say let's put the IR, IR illuminator on, it's just how well you can see in this bit. Yeah, should, should we, if you record a bit more, I'll just go down this bit. Sure, I, yeah, yeah, I'll just leave recording. recording. Yep. The IR light on, of course. The camera will see that then. <laughs> yeah, it does a little bit. Yeah, I can still see really well even with the IR. I can just about see the ground in the darkest bits here. Of course, anywhere there's light, I can see really clearly. It's amazing how high res it kind of looks, this display. 
The field of view thing though is kind of really cool if you start looking at houses quite far away. How so? Hang on, I want to just test some of this. If I look at a light, does it dim the light vision of the star sign? Nah, I don't think it makes the remains for us I'll, I'll let you wear it in a second, you can see. Oh, no worries. When you don't have the uh, the glare from the street light on screen, it's really amazing how much depth you get in the shadows. Shall we just flick the eye out so you can flick it on easier than me, can't you? Oh, it's yeah, just on your head there, it's the buttons at the back. Ah, yeah. Oh yeah. A lot brighter. And obviously through the night vision it does just look like someone flicking a torch on. Yeah. It's a shame my, my left eye, sorry, my right eye is so lazy I think actually I can see a bit better just using the, uh, the left monocular. But... Oh, impressive stuff. <laughs> <laughs> 